One timers here. Matt on the phone. Justin here. We got group F to talk about. Uh, we got one, of the, one. I guess one of the favorites due to the fact that no European team has ever won on on South American soil. You got Argentina. You got Bosnia and Herzegovina playing their first ever World Cup. You got Iran and Nigeria. A very interesting group. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's hard to look past Argentina. You got uh, the, the, the same continent, not too far away from Brazil. They got guys that you see every every week on the Premier League and in the La Liga and all that. You know, can't hard to look past Lionel Messi, even though he's um, a little guy. That can't look, look past him. Uh, and I had the pleasure of watching Bobby Hurts go. Do we know if it's Hurts Govina or Hurts Govina? You know, the uh, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. I usually just drop the Herzegovina. I hope that's not a okay. problem to anyone, but <laughs> just say Bosnia. Maybe, it's a little easier. We listeners in the Bosnia, Herzegovina uh, area, please chime in and let us know how to pronounce the country. We have a lot of good shout outs. Uh, but yeah, uh, I had a pleasure to watch them take on Mexico uh, tonight. And they, they're a very aggressive side on defense, they look big and strong. On defense, uh, they gave away a decent amount of chances. Uh, most of them were half chances. I didn't really see any. Uh, I mean, there may be one or two clear chances that Mexico maybe could have scored on. Uh, but they really had. They won one to zero. Uh, I think mean, the goal was around the 40th minute, and it looked like it was kind of a goal from nothing. It was a, a ball the goalkeeper launched forward, kind of a 50-50 ball between the Bosnia um, forward and the center back from Mexico, kind of deflected back. Uh, towards the corner for Bosnia. The Bosnian player cut it back to the top of the penalty spot, and one of the Bosnian players kind of slotted it home. So if Bosnia wants to do well, they definitely have to capitalize on how to do like that. Uh, yeah. It seems like their defense is strong, uh, but they're definitely going to have to uh, find goals in places uh, like that. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I think Bosnia, uh, for a team playing in their first ever World Cup, looks to be a very dangerous side. You know, you, you see some teams that play in their first World Cup, um, it's one of those, I don't want to say lucky situations, but they, they, they play well enough in the in the qualifying to get there, but then they really get kind of whooped up in, in the group stage. But Bosnia is a very good squad playing the first World Cup, a very dangerous squad to, to the teams in there. Uh, Argentina, I feel like, you know, you know this is another great, opportunity for them obviously they they did well enough i believe they made the it was the quarterfinals i think uh in 2010 before uh close was snapped off for germany and they ended up winning four nil over argentina um i i think argentina is is a very very fundamental squad i think argentina is a very good squad um i don't i don't the thing to me is, I feel like Argentina has to get out of the group. I feel like this is not as drastically pressurized as Brazil, but it's been a while since Argentina, you know, has, has really been up big time on the national scale. I think this is a, a situation where Argentina is going to win the group. Um, just a, a note on Iran: I, I don't see a whole lot going on there for them. Um, I, I could be completely wrong, but I think that's the lowest. FIFA ranked team in the World Cup. Um, I, I right there. Yeah. Um, so I don't see a whole lot going on for Iran. So to me, it comes down to Bosnia and Nigeria. And I'm I'm going on a limb here. I don't know really if it's a limb or whatnot, but I think Nigeria at this point is the best African squad. Out of all five, I think Nigeria is the best one. I think Nigeria is given a really good group to do well. And I think Nigeria, I think the Super Eagles get out of this group. I think they, they um, I think Argentina wins the group. But I think Nigeria finds a way to get the wins they need and, and just edges out a very dangerous Bosnia squad. You know, it's hard for me to go to a team called the Super Eagles. Well, it's really hard to argue with that. <laughs> um, I, from what I've known about like, Nigeria's squad in the past, they have a lot of pace. Uh, and they... Uh, what I saw from the game tonight with Bob is they kind of got trolled by pace that, um, that Mexico had. So I think it's really, I mean, it, that, that match was on uh, the 21st of June. 
when Nigeria plays Bosnia and Herzegovina, it's really going to be a, a real match to see how well Bosnia can stay disciplined. Uh, can they find a goal or two on a set piece or a half chance? And uh, can Nigeria kind of run them, run them around the pitch and do their pace? Um, and then I, I, I think I kind of I, I, I kind of like the mix of Argentina. I think I think they got some guys who are physical, but that are also playmakers, and they also got um, they got I think. This is really a big deal for Messi. I mean, yeah. uh, soccer is one of those sports. It's a team, it's a team sport, but I think it's one of those things where we kind of, I mean, I think it's similar situation with all three of these guys. I mean, pretty much the three guys in a huge spot like this World Cup are obviously Messi, Ronaldo, and Neymar. Yeah. And it's a big thing to see how well they do. Uh, I, I mean, Ronaldo did a little bit when he first came in. He made some plays that wasn't um, really a game changer. Messi really hasn't really done much on the world stage, and Neymar kind of just got here. So, um, it's interesting to see how those guys do. A lot of pressure on them through the base of the thing. Interesting side note, I don't know if you saw the video or anything, but uh, the alleged, uh, I don't know, the one thing we're, the biggest thing we're, another thing we're going to about Nigeria is they played Scotland I believe it was a couple a week or two ago. Yeah, I think they drew, it didn't like they? Their goalie scored on himself. Oh. And then, you know, I don't know if you saw there's a video. You might we might have to throw the link in on this on this uh, section of our podcast. It's a it's kind of a it's kind of a contested ball that across and the Nigeria goalie comes out to catch it and he kind of half catches it and throws it in the goal <laughs> with one arm. If you watch the replay, it looks kind of fishy. He just he catches it. And then immediately throws it into his own goal, huh. which it doesn't look like something you would do if you were trying to, if you were, if, I don't know, if you were trying not to score on yourself. So, um, it, just an interesting side note. Hopefully, there's no controversy. You never want to see a team or anyone, especially the big of a competition, be linked to that kind of yeah. fixing and money and all that stuff. But uh, everyone else, I'll give you the link, JT, if you check it out. Um, uh, let me know what you think, and everyone out there will know what you think. But hopefully, it's not an issue. I, I think I think Argentina's too good not to win the group. It's kind of Iran, a too bad for them. I think too much class there. Argentina, Messi will probably get one or two yeah. um, amazing goals in this group, especially against Iran. Will probably dribble eight people like Cole. <laughs> um, and then uh, I think Bob Aaron, Scovina, from what I saw. The small sample size I saw, they're, they're a real disciplined team. Uh, Sheko, he'll, 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 he'll make some plays. They got a couple big, strong guys that are disciplined, so I think it'll be Argentina, Bosnia, Herzegovina. All right, so you're taking Argentina and Bosnia and Herzegovina. I got Argentina and Nigeria. We'll take a look at Group G with the United States in just a moment. 